Hi everyone, welcome to Viz Wiz 3. So, um, what I'm going to do in this screencast is show you how to plot the kind of graphs that your boss or supervisor or editor actually wants. So up until now we have been looking at plotting raw data using um, ggplot points and, and adding a little noise to that using um, box and whisker plots and violins and histograms. What I want to do in this screencast is show you how to plot bar graphs using geom bar and geom col. So bar and column plots. All right, so let's start with bar plots. Now, the two geoms that you use for getting bar graphs work a little bit differently. So the geom bar is used primarily for count data. And it's pretty clever because it doesn't require you to tell it um, what the Y aesthetic is. So let's say that we wanted to take our plot features data and we wanted to count how many observations there are in the data set. Um, let's say each year separately for each site. Right? So what we could do is take our beaches data, we'll get rid of the missing um, data for the moment, and pipe that into a ggplot. And for a bar plot that is plotting frequencies, that is just the height of the bar is a count of how many observations there are, you just tell it what you want it to count. So um, in this case, we want it to count observations across years. And if we add our aesthetic that is geom bar to that, and then add to that a facet that plots the number of observations per year um, separately for each site and run that, we get a plot that looks like this, right? So we've just told it that we want what we want on the x axis, and it has assumed that we want the height of the bars to be a count of the observations. So you can see that the number of observations um, each year is pretty um, standard across sites. There are fewer observations in 2018, mostly because I took the data back in September and so it wasn't a whole year worth of observations. All right, so. That is geom bar. If you want to count the observations, um, geom bar is what you want. If you want the height of the bar to be a value of something, then you should use geom col for a column graph instead. So let's say that we want in a omit to get rid of missing values from our data set um, and this time you want a ggplot and we're going to tell it both x and y um, aesthetics. So let's say that we want, let's try this out, let's see what it looks like if we put year on the x-axis and just beach bugs on the y-axis. And we're going to add, G, in this case, GM coal. All right, 
it. That's interesting. Okay, so what are these values? So it's obviously, so this is across all of the sites. These can't be, maybe it is adding these values. Let's test that out. I think it could be adding them. So let's check by doing a summarize to see whether what it's actually doing when you t don't tell it to plot a mean or some summary statistics. I think maybe the default is for it to add all of the values of beach bugs together across all sites for 2013, 14, 15. Let's check that. So um, if we take our data and use some of our dplyr skills, um, we want to get rid of the, the NAs. And rather than plotting it, we want to summarize it. And actually, what I want to do first is group by year and summarize. And I want to say total bugs equals the sum of all the beach bugs values. Let's try that. Okay, so what we have in our output down here are values that correspond really nicely to the values in that are represented by the height of our bars. Okay, that's good to know. I just learned something. If you don't tell a Jerome Cole to plot a summary statistic, then it will assume you want um, the sum of all values. Good to know. All right, let's leave ourselves some notes here that might help us remember what we've done. So use Jerome bar for or frequency count data stream call for um for plotting a summary That the default is sum. Right. And this is just checking what FGM calls this body. Right. But most of the time, um, a sum of all the scores. Um, is not the most meaningful way to plot your data. Most of the time you want to look at a mean. So let's do that. So we can put our um, dplyr skills and our ggplot skills together to calculate a summary, a summarize, and then pipe that summarize straight into a ggplot. So if we go and the missing values. Um, let's plot a graph that looks a bit like this, but rather than the sum of the beach bugs, we want the mean of the beach bugs. So um, we can go group by year and summarize mean bugs equals mean of the beach bugs. Right now, often when you, I do this, it's sometimes a good idea to check that this summarize will do what you think it's going to do before you pipe the ggplot on the bottom. So let's just check that that does what we think it's going to do. Right, good. So we've got a value for each year that is the mean value of beach bugs. So we can continue and just pipe on the bottom there a ggplot. We define our aesthetics on 
the x-axis we want year and on the y-axis we want mean hugs and oops all right remembering that when you're piping summarize into a ggpot use the pipe but when you want to add a geom to your plot then you use a plus geom coal right awesome all right so um just like when we were doing other kinds of um other kinds of figures you can um, add extra layers to look at this plot separately for different sites so if you go facet wrap using the tilde to specify you want that plot um, sites oh what's happened there ah okay so with this summary i can't do that because when i made this summary i only grouped by year and so actually the data it's working from which is this summary of the mean bugs doesn't have any site information it's averaged across that you can fix that though so you just go um, here if we go summarize by year and site and then calculate the mean bugs let's check that that's going to do what we want it to do aha uh -huh. so what that has done is for each year so we have a table that is 66 um, rows long and it has three variables what it's done is that for each year for each site it has a mean bugs value right so now that we've calculated our summarize including each year and site we can plot the year on the x-axis and have different um, separate plots using a facet wrap by site. Let's check if that's going to work. Done. Excellent. Okay, so that's how you can use geom bar when you want to plot frequencies or count data and geom coal when you want the height of the bar to represent the magnitude of your summary statistic. Um, using combining what we've learned about dplyr and summarize and facet wrap to get plots that um, show each site separately plotting mean values across the five years of data that we have.